DVD outlines new weed hygiene technology and existing techniques that have been shown to reduce weed spreading during routine slashing of linear reserves. Slashing is the most common method used to maintain linear reserves such as roadsides. It is conducted primarily to reduce fire risks and to maximise visibility for road users. However, slashing can have some serious indirect consequences on both the natural environment and agriculture. Roadside slashing is the single largest cause of spread of serious environmental and agricultural weeds. Panicle seed accumulates on the slasher deck. If not cleaned down appropriately before leaving the site, seeds can be transported resulting in new infestations establishing. Weeds commonly spread through slashing operations include Chilean needlegrass, Texas needlegrass, cane needlegrass, lobed needlegrass, serrated tussock, African lovegrass, the espartillos, fireweed and spirobolus species. In each state and territory, there is a legal requirement for the land manager to prevent the further spread of declared noxious weeds. This DVD is designed to give you the tools to minimise the off-target effects of maintenance roadside slashing. Mowing or slashing at the right time can prevent or reduce panicle seed head production and encourage regrowth that is more palatable to stock. Research trials undertaken by the Department of Primary Industries Victoria have shown that to minimise panicle seed regrowth and the risk of transporting viable seed, slashing needs to occur around the flowering stage. Using Chilean needlegrass as an example, Flowering occurs for approximately two weeks, so there is a very limited window of opportunity within which slashing will be an effective control measure. The timing of flowering varies from year to year and needs to be closely checked once the panicle seeds emerge. Slashing after the point of flowering is not recommended as the tractor and slasher are highly likely to become contaminated with viable panicle seed. However, it may not always be possible or practical to slash within this narrow time period. Both the slasher cover and slasher fan are new additions to grass slashes that have remained relatively unchanged for a long time. The slashes shown are both three-point linkage Howard slashes the proof of concept slasher cover is fitted to a slasher used by Hume City Council, whilst the slasher fan is fitted to a slasher used by Macedon Rangers Shire Council. The principle of design and operation for both the slasher cover and slasher fan will now be explained. The concept of slasher covers was developed as a part of a joint project between RMIT University and the Department of Primary Industries Weed Research Group. The cover concept was first trialled at Sunbury in 2005 and was one of several mechanical aids to reduce the likelihood of transporting weed seeds. The cover works by physically stopping seed and pasture trash from building up on the slasher deck and being transported during the shift. Any seeds that come in contact with the cover generally fall to the ground. This concept does not require any additional power from the tractor during operation. The cover itself can be made of canvas or other toughened materials. The cover is supported by a steel frame which is attached to the slasher deck. The cover is fitted to quick fit lugs at the base to keep it taut and enable easy removal, whilst access flaps can be integrated in the design to allow access to the gearbox and power takeoff shaft for daily maintenance. Trailing wheels, three point linkage arms, and PTO shafts enter the cover via sleeves. When hooking up the slasher, 
operators need to ensure that the sleeves are wrapped to form a tight seal around the shaft and arms. The slasher fan concept has been in use by Toowoomba Regional Council since 2006. Operators and maintenance workers have proven the concept over time. The slasher fan uses the principle of air movement to blow any pasture trash or seeds off the deck of the slasher. The force and intensity of the airflow is dependent on the position and type of fan used. The blower unit is comprised of a hydraulically driven motor operating a fan contained in a steel cowl. This concept requires one set of hydraulic remotes from the tractor as well as a case drain or dump line. The cowling is attached to the deck of the slasher and can be engineered for easy removal for maintenance.